Hey guys, so previously we learned about the unit circle. I said that the unit circle is a circle that has a radius of one unit and it has a center point at the origin. So the coordinates of the center are zero comma zero. We also learned that if we subtended that radius by an angle theta from the positive x axis, the x coordinate of any point on the unit circle is defined as the cosine of theta and the y coordinate is defined as sine theta. We also learned that the ta tan of theta is the ratio between the y coordinate and the x coordinate, so that's just sine theta over cosine theta. So these are our three trigonometric functions, cosine theta, sine theta, and tan theta. Now in this video, we're gonna learn about some of the common values of theta and the values that these trigonometric functions take for those values of theta. So let's say that we have an angle theta and that that angle over here is just zero degrees. So here theta is just zero degrees or zero radians since the radius just lies on the positive x-axis. And here, the x-coordinate of the point on the unit circle is one and the y-coordinate is zero. So when theta is equal to zero degrees or zero radians, we can say that the cosine of theta is one and the sine of theta is zero. The x-coordinate is one and the y-coordinate is zero. And the ratio between the y and the x coordinate, so that's sine theta over cosine theta is just tan theta is also equal to, is also equal to zero. Now the next value of theta that we're gonna look at is when theta is equal to 30 degrees. Now 30 degrees over here, again, we subtended the angle counterclockwise or anti-clockwise from the positive x axis. So we have an angle of positive 30 degrees or pi over six radians, since we've learned that pi radians is 180 degrees, and 30 degrees is just 1 sixth of 180, we can say that 30 degrees is just pi over six radians. So when theta is equal to 30 degrees, when theta is equal to 30 degrees, the angle in radians can be written as pi over six radians, and the cosine of this angle is just the x coordinate of the point on the unit circle, which over here comes out to square root of three over two, and the y coordinate on the unit circle comes out to one over two. And the ratio of the y coordinate and the x coordinate, that is sine theta over cosine theta, is tan of theta, that is just one over root three. The next value of theta that we're gonna look at is when theta is equal to 45 degrees. Now when theta is 45 degrees, we can say that in radians, that's just pi over four radians, because one fourth of 180 is 45. And over here, when theta is 45 degrees, again, you have a radius of just one unit. So the x coordinate on the unit circle of the point on the unit circle is square root of two over two. And the y coordinate is also square root of two over two. So we can say that when theta is 45 degrees, or it's pi over four radians, the cosine of theta is square root of two over two. And the sine of theta is also square root of two over two. And then the tan of theta is just the ratio between the sine and the cosine, which is just equal to one. Now next we have when theta is equal to 60 degrees. Now when theta is equal to 60 degrees, or pi over three radians, the x coordinate of the point on the unit circle, that's cosine of theta is one over two, and the y coordinate is square root of three over two, so that's just sine of theta. So we can say that when theta is equal to 60 degrees, or pi over three radians, the cosine of theta is one over two, and the sine of theta is square root of three over two. And the ratio between the y coordinate and the x coordinate, sine theta divided by cosine theta, is just square root of three. So tan theta is equal to square root of three. Now the last value of theta that we're gonna look at over here is when theta is equal to 90 degrees. Now when theta is equal to 90 degrees, we can see that the radius is perfectly vertical over here. And the x coordinate of the point on the unit circle, since it lies on the y axis, the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is equal to one. So we can say that when theta is equal to 90 degrees, when theta is equal to 90 degrees, which is just pi over two radians, the cosine of theta is equal to zero, and the sine of theta is equal to one. Now the tan of theta over here, the tan of theta over here, or tan of 90 degrees, or tan of pi over two radians, is the sine of 90 divided by the cosine of 90. So if we do one divided by zero, well we know we can't divide by zero, so we can say that the tan of 90 degrees or the tan of pi over two radians is an undefined value, is an undefined value over here. So now these are, these are some of the common values of theta 
the angle in degrees or in radians over here and the associated values of the trigonometric functions for these values of theta and these are some these are some these are some values that are very useful to remember and you're expected to reproduce and an easy way to remember these values an easy way to remember these values is to use the following triangles so here i have two triangles over here the first triangle that we have the first triangle that we have is the equilateral triangle where each side is of length two units. So here I have an equilateral triangle and each side is of length two units. Obviously the angles of these of this triangle are 60 degrees, right? Now if I, if I divide this equilateral triangle into two equal halves, so I just drop a perpendicular from the vertex to the base and I divide this equilateral triangle into two, two identical right angle triangles, what we have over here is this, what we have over here is this right angle triangle. We have a right angle triangle that has angles of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. Now, since we divided the base of this triangle into two equal halves and we drop this perpendicular bisector, we know that the base of the right angle triangle is one unit. The length of the hypotenuse is two units. So the height is just, we can find using Pythagoras' theorem, is just the square root of two squared minus one squared, which is the square root of three. Now, knowing these values, we know that for a right angle triangle, if I wanted to know the cosine, the cosine of 30 degrees over here, or pi over 6 radians, is just the side adjacent to this 30 degree angle, which is square root of 3, divided by the hypotenuse. So that's square root of 3 over 2. So the cosine of 30 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, is square root of 3 over 2. And the sine of this angle is the side opposite the angle, divided by the hypotenuse. So that's just 1 over 2. And the tan of 30 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, is the side opposite divided by the side adjacent. So we have one over root three. Similarly, if we wanted to, if we wanted to figure out the values of the trigonometric functions when theta is equal to 60 degrees or pi over three radians, we can say that this, the cosine of 60 is the side adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So that's one over two. The sine of 60 is the side opposite, which is square root of three divided by the hypotenuse. So that's square root of three over two. And then the tan of 60 degrees, or pi over 3 radians, is the side opposite, which is square root of 3 divided by the adjacent. So that's just square root of 3. So we can use this, we can use this equilateral triangle. We can, always, we can always draw this equilateral triangle to recall the values for cosine theta, sine theta, and tan theta. When theta is equal to 30 degrees, or 60 degrees, or pi over 6 radians, or pi over 3 radians, respectively. Similarly, we can use this triangle over here, the second triangle. This is the 45, 45, 90 triangle over here. And here, the two sides that are perpendicular to each other are each of length one unit. So the hypotenuse is, hypotenuse is square root of one squared plus one squared. So that's square root of two. And we know that the sine of 45 is just the opposite over the hypotenuse. And the cosine of 45 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that's just one over square root of two which is the same as saying square root of 2 over 2. And the tan is just the opposite over the adjacent. So tan of 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians is just 1 divided by 1. So that's just 1. So we can use these two triangles, this right angle triangle over here, which we derive from the equilateral triangle, as well as this right angle triangle over here, to recall the values of cosine theta, sine theta, and tan theta. And theta is equal to 30 degrees or pi over 6 radians. 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians, or 60 degrees or pi over 3 radians. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is going to make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.